But anyway, after this, John, but John's on the Isle of Patmos. He's about 94 years old. And they put him on a little island off the coast of uh, Greece and left him there to die. While he's on this little island, he gets in the spirit on the Lord's day. And the Lord begins to bring to him the biblical scriptures of Revelation. In the Greek, that's called the name is called Apocalypse. But in the uh, we, we would say the word Apocalypse means either Revelation, Unveiling, or Revealing. Okay, so it's a Revelation. And this is what the Lord showed him in chapter 4. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. The first voice which I heard was at the, as it were a trumpet talking with me and said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was rainbows round about the throne in the sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. Upon those seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Praise Can you God. say amen? amen? Amen. And what a sight. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Amen. Can you say amen? amen. amen. Praise the Lord. So here's these 24 elders. Who are they? Well, they would be the 12 uh, sons of Jacob, representing the 12 tribes of Israel, and the 12 disciples or the 12 apostles. And they make up the 24. They sit around the throne of God with Jesus Christ being the Son of the living God and the Holy Ghost making up the Godhead of the Trinity. And you can see that there was power. He was looking into the throne room of God. I've thought about this many times. Can you imagine being in the Spirit of the Lord and looking into the throne room of God? Praise the Lord. And seeing the presence of God. And praise God. And understanding that the Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And Satan's kingdom has already been shattered. It's already been defeated at a place called Golgotha. When the Son of the living God was nailed to a rugged cross. And there he died upon the cross for the sins of the people. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. It was that day that Satan was crushed up on his head because Christ was nailed to the tree. And the Bible says, cursed is every one or everything that's nailed to a tree. But Christ became the likeness of sinful flesh. And in the sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. In other words, he took our sins to the cross. He, if we had to get our own life right by ourselves, there's not a person in this building could ever redeem themselves from sin. There's not a one among us who could say that I'm alright without the blood 